Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Movement Trail. Let's get right to it. We use this Global's Helper class to access frequently used game properties easily. The Input Manager provides the keyboard controls. The Sprite Base class to draw a texture. The Hero class represents a player character that moves around the screen. And the Game Manager to bind everything together and help with testing. Let's take a look at what we have as our starting point. We control a hero's movement. Our programming goal is to leave a trail behind the hero. Okay, let's start coding. We begin with the trail part class that inherits from the sprite. It is one piece of the trail. It has a limited lifespan, during which it gradually fades away. We will use an abstract trail strategy. The ready method will control when to create a new trail part. The first strategy is time-based. A new part appears every tenth of a second. It will also remember the last position to prevent redundancy. The implementation of the ready method is straightforward. It counts down the time, and when it's ready, it resets. And finally, the trail class. It holds the texture of a trail part and a list of them. Then a selected trail strategy and the desired lifespan. Let's assign our prepared strategy inside the constructor. That is a helpful method that adds a new trail part. The update method first handles the parts and removes all that expired. Then creates a new part according to the strategy. The draw method goes through the list of parts. Let's add the trail to our hero. And we are ready for a test run. Good, everything works as expected. The hero leaves a trail behind. It disappears after a second. Let's try implementing a different strategy. It will work based on the distance traveled. It also requires the last position to calculate the distance. The ready method returns immediately if the position hasn't changed. It reduces the required distance by the current position difference. We are using the squared values to reduce the workload. Once the required distance depletes, the strategy returns ready and resets. Now we easily change the trail strategy. And we can also try a different texture. Let's take a look. Great! The hero's latest movement is easy to track now. Let's quickly try one more texture. That one has a more natural look. But we can make it look even better. We add a rotation parameter to the trail part and calculate that rotation inside the trail update. We already have the direction vector in the input manager, so we only have to transform it into an angle. Let's do our final test run. The trail parts are correctly oriented and create a smooth trail behind the hero. Perfect. Let me know how you enjoyed this episode. You'll find the code in the description below. Is there a topic you'd love to see next? Feel free to share your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.